A grand salute for Dr. Vijay Kura was organized by the batch of 2011 St. Thomas's College, Mount Lavinia. The felicitation ceremony was held yesterday in Colombo with the presence of his family, friends and well-wishers. My 60 years, I don't know how, how it happened, but this I know. Out of college, I opted to become a chartered accountant and I was uh, articled one and a half years going for lectures at the Institute of Chartered Accountancy, which is still in the same place. At Longdon Place. And as uh, dear Siobhan mentioned, it so happened that I was thrust before a microphone on that occasion when Thompson didn't turn up. I consider this to be a divine appointment because I never ever had any intention of becoming a broadcaster, of going before a microphone or any of that. I learned one thing that, you know, when you are in an occupation, you must do what you like and like what you're doing. And that's how it happened where broadcasting was concerned. Warden of St. Thomas's College, Reverend Mark Billy Moria, addressed the event. There are two things I just want to say about our guest today, our guest of honor today. And the first is that he is a loyal and dedicated, devoted old boy of St. Thomas's College. He has served on the STC OBA Executive Committee for a number of years. He has even served on the Board of Governors of the College. And he continues even now to have the interests of the college at heart. Hudson Samarasingha, the chairman of the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation, also spoke at the event. Amika Pignati, Anad Ruik, Pratam Barata, Parliamentary, Asunad Diagan, Diurun Dinian. I was to be sworn into Parliament, but I was the Chairman and Director General of the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. That was when I went and met Vijay Korea and asked him to take up the Director General title even though he had retired by then. He right away told me to go ahead and become a Parliamentarian but refused to take up the title. I kept begging him for hours. He kept saying no. Then I visited him for the second time. I gave Vijay the one Parliament entry slip I had and requested him to be there on the day of taking oath as I have no parents or family. The day I took oaths in Parliament was a very emotional day. Which actually showed up for me on that day. The small story itself is all you need to know to understand the kind of person Vijay is. The keynote address was delivered by Group Director of the Capital Maharaja Group, Shavon Daniel. He represents a very Sri Lankan, a very proud transformation, transition from what was a colonial outpost to what we are today, with all our faults, proudly Sri Lankan. Vijay Korea broke glass ceilings. He taught me, he taught us, a generation of broadcasters, that it is possible to become excellent as a Sri Lankan. Sri Lanka today is looking for leadership, desperately, frustratingly looking for leadership. <clears throat> looking for inspiration, looking for icons. We don't have to look far. We have them right here. Dr. Vijay Korea, you are many things. You are an actor, a broadcaster. You are a compere par excellence. You are a chef de ceremony. But perhaps most importantly to me and to many thousands of others, you, sir, are an inspiration. Dr. Vijay Kura was also honoured in recognition of his extraordinary 60-year career in broadcasting. A commemorative coin embossed with the theme of the occasion, marking his six decades of experience in broadcasting, was presented to Dr. Kura by the 2011 batch of St. Thomas's College. The event featured a compilation of heartfelt messages and well-wishes from his admirers, celebrating his remarkable contributions to the industry and their lives on a personal note.